Hi everybody, Gary Olson here. We've been doing dog portraits uh, over the last uh, few months and uh, I've got another one. Uh, our good friend Sharon and uh, Keith, uh, they have a dog named Lacey. And Lacey is uh, like a cockapoo. Very cute. <laughs> Let's get started. As you can see, I sectioned off my uh, panel and uh, I divided it into equal squares uh, equal to the reference photo that I have. This is a challenge because this dog is black and black. <laughs> but there's other colors that uh, will be revealed in the painting that will be fun to add to this particular composition. Okay, let's take a look at these colors on my palette. We'll go from uh, lower left to upper right. Lower left hand corner there is uh, cadmium yellow followed by crimson and then we've got uh, King's Blue, which I uh, truly love. Ultramarine Blue. Uh, above that is Asphaltum, which is a very dark brown. And then just below that is Transparent Yellow Oxide. That's Payne's Gray, third from the right. And uh, then there's Dioxazin Purple. And of course, White. Uh, real good friends, uh, Sharon and Keith Stoyer, uh, got this dog, uh, you know, a little over a year and a half ago or so. Anyway, the uh, uh, here she is right here on my tablet. <laughs> Lacey is, uh, I think she's cocker, part cocker, part poodle. So that'd be a cockapoo. No matter how you cut it, that sounds naughty. But anyway, uh, what's cool about this dog is uh, she got into a altercation with a, a, a truck of some sort and she got hit where actually her chain or, or her leash got caught up in the tire and she broke her leg back leg and I thought oh my gosh this is going to be awful I didn't witness it but I got you know the phone call and everything and she uh, uh, had to be rushed to a hospital down in uh, Cedar Rapids that specializes in pet trauma. We went down to visit her and everything, and oh my God, she recognized us, and uh, it was uh, touch and go, but she came out of surgery. All the promises in the world were kept. She is just as good today as she was when she was a puppy dog, and she can jump up on a high bed or a sofa. She, unbelievable dog, a real athlete. But we're gonna paint Lacey. Well, it's a humble beginning, but it is a start. I don't use a pencil or any kind of uh, charcoal of any sort. That would be counterproductive. What I do is I sketch with paint, and then uh, I try to uh, establish those landmarks like the eyes and the nose and the general outline of the dog before I continue on with more details and bigger brushes and more paint.
you know, I, I liken the uh, painting in this fashion to sculpting. It is uh, like clay or certainly not chiseling a piece of marble, but I, I, I consider it like sculpting. I'm using paint to sculpt the shape of the dog's face and, and I'm using, of course, the grid to find my landmarks so that I have uh, the eyes in the right place and things like that. But it, it's very sculptural, I'd have to say. It's my impression.
I look who I am. <laughs> Isn't this a great dog? I know. She thinks I'm a dog. It's weird. But anyway, listen, that was our uh, exercise in doing a uh, somewhat monochromatic dog. But we added color and, and uh, shape to the composition, and I think it turned out pretty good. Oh, look, she's looking at it over my shoulder. She's going, yeah, I don't know. But uh, here, look, there you are. Look at you. Aren't you pretty? Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Whoops, I'm tripping over things. Meanwhile, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, right? Thank you for joining us on Gary Olson Studio. Woof.